model Raquel Betancourt lived with superstar DJ Avicii in California. Before their relationship came to an end in December 2014. Following the news of his heartbreaking passing at just 28. Raquel has taken to Instagram to pay tribute to the Wake Me Up hitmaker, saying she never stopped having love for him. My heart is broken. Tim, she began. It feels like it was just yesterday when we were inseparable. We talked and laughed till sunrise. It was us against the world. Memories to last a lifetime. Through all of our ups and downs I wanted nothing more than to. Make sure you were healthy and happy and be there for you every step of the way. Give you life, something to look forward to. But the universe had different plans for us. The Swedish star, whose real name is Tim Bergling, was found dead in his hotel room in Oman in the Middle East on Friday, the 20th of April 2018. His cause of death is still unknown. Raquel continued, I know how hard you struggled and tried. I tried everything I could. Thank you for showing me and teaching me what true love feels like, taking me along with you through your journey. The bond and connection we shared was so pure and real, I don't think it ever really truly broke. It has always been and will always be in my heart forever. It was far too soon for you, so gifted and so special. You were the biggest part of my life and played a huge role. I will forever cherish those moments. I just want you to know that I never stopped having love for you. She finished the statement with, My condolences to his amazing family through this hard time. My heart is with them. Thank you to all my family and friends for the kind loving messages, and support. Rest in peace beautiful angel. I will never forget you. Love Raka Takavici's older brother landed in Oman on Friday night in search of answers for his devastated family. The superstar DJ's cause of death is not yet known. Yet Sky News has reported that insiders revealed there is no criminal suspicion involved. The source added to Sky News that two post mortem examinations had been conducted and said we absolutely confirmed that there is no criminal suspicion of death. 